Hello, this is Kelly from Root Pursuit, and I have been working on these cute little mini books. Uh, I did happen to get these from the Dollar Tree a while back. They're these sticker sheets. They only had two of them, but I thought they were super cool. So the the covers and then the spines. The spines height and the uh, cover heights didn't match, so I did have to kind of trim these. But I'm just—I think they're so cute. I mean, they're they're plastic, but they just look—they just look adorable. And uh, yeah, so we're just kind of modifying these things. I still don't know what I'm going to do with those, but I'm sure they'll just go on a page quite nicely. So those are good. Uh, and I gathered together some. Uh, papers for signatures. I figure I'm going to put three signatures in these books that are the exact same height and then perhaps uh, I don't know if I'm actually going to do this one on camera but these are about the right size. They need a little bit of, of trim but that's really not a problem. Maybe I was thinking of you know doing some tearing because I I like the look of that. And if I'm really, I suppose I could just do the, the deckel, kind of trim that off a little. That would be a lot quicker. If quicks your, your, your angle, your, you know, your, is a necessity for you. I don't think it really is for me, but you know, sometimes. So there's that one. I, I would like to add more. Let me just do a little flip through of an example of these signatures that I have. I feel like it needs more forms or something like that. This is like this cool grid tracing paper I got recently. And these little books. So that's kind of same, same, the other half. So there's those. Yeah, this one definitely needs. Oh, I, I was thinking about using the guest check. Just try to figure out a little bit what size I need. And where's my carrying ruler? Carrying ruler, it's been very handy for this. Let's do it like that. That's plenty. That looks real good. And then I don't need quite so much. How much do I need off? Let's just see here. I'm gonna come all the way up to here. I'm gonna try to keep as much as I can of that guest check part. Oh, that's not gonna work. There we go. So that will be a nice little form bit that can go in there. Oh, which one? Which one? Get it straightened out a little bit. There we go. All right, I'm going to pull out my papers, vintage papers. Let's try this one. Pulling it up the bag. It's a little too long and narrow. I could do opera bag. Ah, I'd like to keep that for a bigger journal. Towel edging. Okay, this is one I could do maybe just part of it. Boy, that's cut really wonky. You are wonky. I could do maybe like this bit here. Go. What else do we have in here? I did use some of these type ones. Let's do more like this. Yeah, I thought I did. Oh, I didn't add them in. Well, what the heck? Okay. Well, I guess I'll keep that one. Yeah, I didn't add them in yet. What? All right. What else do we have in here? 
I don't think it's the right um, direction. Just pull some of this out so I have. Oh, that might be fun to use. Okay, I don't need the dictionary pages. I've already got that handled. Oh, some handwriting. Dear Mouse. Yeah, I like that. That will work. Uh, no. This, yes. But no. More of these. I should put those somewhere else. Not quite the right direction. Book page. Oh, some typing paper. That might be nice. That would look good on there. Oh, some of this stuff. It's just random stamped things. That might work. Which direction? Like if I go this way. And then fold it this way. Oh yeah, those are really nice. What do I want here? I don't... I'm not... Oh. All right, fine. We'll go off the top. <laughs> We're going off the top. There's another one of those. This one, they're, they're coming off the bottom. I'll just take this in half. on one side, so. All right, what else do we have in here? Anything good? I know, it's fun to dig in here and see what I managed to put in here. They're too big. Uh, not really the style for this journal, these journals. A little fun thing. All right, there's more back here. Let's pull it out. See what we have. I really am good on book pages. I'm looking more for forms, but I'm not seeing a lot of that in here. Oh, this is cute. We do a little bit something like that. I hope that's not too wide. are very cute. Okay, I like those. To go in there. I don't have any music paper. Ooh, pink. I know I'm hoarding this pink piece of paper. I sleep my am. This is neat neat paper. It's really old, too. Mm, okay. I'll do this. What's nice about this is it's got quite a bit of writing space on it. A word list. <laughs> do it like that. And maybe just fold it again. Just because we can. Ooh. A little wonky. There. There. There we go. A little bit of that. I'll we'll check another basket. Let's see what else we have. I think this one. Must have something in it. Oh, that's pretty. That's handwriting. I need to put that in the handwriting one. Mm. That's 
really fragile. So I'm mostly book pages, book pages. Nope, not those. Let's see what we've got in here. I want something that's already kind of grunged up. That one is. Those. Oh, yeah, these are nice. I think I'm going to do it like this, and then each one. Oh, it's aerated. Oh, I think it'll be fine. That one, and that one. There we go. <laughs> this or like this. Okay, that's the one. Those are our pages. Oh, I think that's plenty. And then I'll use this one too. How shall we? Oh, it's got some stuff on the back. That's not going to work. Not so much. Well, this is like, no, I don't want to do that. <laughs> because, why? Because I love it too much. I know. Let's look at this. Sometimes you just love it. I like this part here. piano roll. I mean by we, I mean, well we all do. You you want to too. <laughs> I know you do. Alright, let's see if we can sometimes it's well A it's fragile and B it's curly and C we like it. Okay, so I'll, I'll tear it here. That's going to be perfect. And then we'll fold it this way. There we go. Now we got some piano roll to put in there. Look at all that extra, extra paper to put in. Wonderful. Okay, so these are going to be plenty. Plenty. Should we do it? Should we put them together? They're mostly already put together. Uh, hmm. <laughs> of course, I like to put that vellum there. I think I might put the, this, this, this paper in the front and make this like the first signature. That might be nice. Okay, let me do... I don't think I want to poke through all of this with my scissors, so I'm just gonna put the wrong one. And I think it's gonna be helpful that I I made my cuts a little off because I didn't have my signature together properly, which is nice because then it'll Look more random, because it'll be more random. Yeah. There we go. Okay, I'm not fond of the center one. What should we do with that? Maybe we could do this bit of, bit of something. 
I know I have a, a lot of like, uh, oh, there's two of those in the signature. Can't have that. Can't have that. I'll put this one in there. These are pretty, pretty thick. Okay, now I need a clip. That's how I say, you are ready. You're ready. Okay, find another one. So this is a very tiny, tiny, tiny one. Okay, we got this thing, we got this thing. Okay, there's no florally ones in here at all, whatsoever. Like, flor flowery bits. This one works really well in the center. Because it's got like little fold-over pockets. Pockets. This cute little map, look at that. Adorable. Okay. What else do we need in here? Maybe a dictionary page. Let's try that. Oh, let's do this. That should do it. I'll just trim. That piece. Sticking out a smidge. See, that's my problem. I'm really, I'm really, uh, it's not very instinctive for me to just do random. I always want to like finish the edges, <laughs> which doesn't work very well. Okay, I do like these in the center of the signature a lot. And these don't really matter too much. All right, let's just kind of pull these out and see what we've got here. Need something. There we go, a little flower thing. Maybe this. Oh, there's already one of those in there. This paper. And a roll. They're pretty thick. Okay. So now there's three. So what we're going to do is take all of these and throw them in a pile over here. Woo! This is how we throw it. All right. <laughs> we'll see if I use all of those up. I know. I realize now I may have put too many, but. That's how I roll. That's okay, because then I can make more more books. Now, what we really need is a little piece of like cardboard. I got this cardboard right here. It's pretty thick. I don't know if it's too thick. Maybe I'll take a little thinner one. And I hope that's the right decision. This this one's a little thinner, and this is gonna be our spine so and I want to make sure that I've got my cover totally done I did end up adding a little of this copper colored metallic to the edges and stuff so some of this I mean you can kind of see ooh, a little bit of that like edging but it's not it's not terrible so, and this is opaque, so it just kind of covers up a little bit of that writing, the, the text, but not all of it. So that's handy. And I'm very tempted, and I think I'm going to do this. I'm going to get my walnut stain, which is right here. And just do a very dark edge around this. You can do it. <laughs> Just to give it a little 
more definition around the edges. I just dip my finger in there. Oh, there we go. Crumbs. Okay. So that's pretty much it. So what's going to happen with this is we're going to take this little bit of, it's going to be our spine, interior spine. And what we do with that is we're going to sew our signatures to this piece and then we're going to glue it in. So. That's that. I'm going to ink it just so it's not so... You'll be able to see it a little bit, probably. But not that side. That'll be the glue down side. And that'll keep me on track. Okay, now I need to make the, the, <laughs> the hands. Uh, some dots for our holes. And I'm going to need my small awl. Oh, I want three holes. Oh, you silly, silly person. Boy, that's going to be snug. Okay. Gosh. Is that going to be... I'm going to... I decide... I'm changing my mind. And I'm going with the thicker cardboard. Because I just don't... I don't think this thin stuff is going to hold up. You know what I should do? I, should, I wonder if I should just go to the sewing machine and sew this. You can do that. So uh, if you would like to, you can just do that yourself. But I suppose you still need to line up your holes. So we're going to do that. I don't, I'm probably going to hand sew it. So we'll see. And make sure I did it. It looks a little crooked. It is. It does not fit. Okay. Here she is. So for sure we need one in the middle. There we go. Loop de -loo. One in the middle. Oh, this is like working tiny. Very tiny. Now, the advantage to this is if I sew my signatures in a little crooked, I can always make this move <laughs> in the direction I need it. So that's handy because I do have a tendency to go a little cr cr crookedy. All right, so I'm going to need, I, I can't use my regular needle because it'll just be way too big. I do have a smaller awl, this little guy, although he's bent. He's a little bent. Oh, now he's bent a different way. <laughs> Boy, that's... I don't know if he's supposed to be bent like that. <laughs> I have two of these. I brought it uh, to retreat, so I don't know where, where it ended up. Okay, that is straight now. Okay, good. So, we're just going to poke some holes. I'm going to poke it into my corker ruler. Oh, okay. This is working. It is bending. Well, you're weak. Weak sauce. Okay, so this all is narrow at the tip. So I'm hoping that's going to be a little bit of an advantage. I should give it a little spin. <laughs> Does that work? That way it's more like a hole punch instead of just a... I pushed the paper out. And now it's like sprawling. Okay, I'm just going to reinforce on the other side. Yep, 
Yeah, this was just kind of food packaging. That works. I know, I was just in the mood the other day to just do something little but pretty. So that's where this project kind of came from. Okay, and we've got this needle already thread threaded. Oh, there's a little bead on there. You have to come off. Oh, he's like, he went the other way. Hmm. Whatever. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Okay, then I'm going to need three holes centered in this guy. So let's open them up. Where's your center? Oh dear, I'm not even close to the center. There we go. Uh, put my clip back on this way. And then center it. Here. Eh, I'm going to turn it inside out. Yeah, that's the ticket. Um, I'll go like that. Spread all this way. Okay. Oh yeah, this is a great idea. Don't move. Don't move. And are they still lined up? There we go. Okay, we're centered. Got our little... Now we'll move this. Get our O. Oh, those are hard to see. Okay. Spinny. There we go. Ooh. Heard a little crackle. <laughs> I think I went all the way through to the ruler. So that one went a little side wonk of this. Okay. So in this step, we're going to sew the signature to our little uh, board here. So I would like to come... I'm going to put this one in the middle because I think that's probably the easiest way to do it. I don't know. Not really sure, but here we go, loop-de-loop. -loop. So I'm going through... The very middle hole of the board and then through the middle hole of my signature and my thread is connected to my thing here which makes it easier for you don't really have to worry about your thread coming through because it's real attached okay so put this back up there then we're gonna go up through the top hole also through the middle in this little board. Once this is on, this is going to make it a lot easier. Then I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom middle hole. Get that one through the board first. Oh, coming out. Then through the spine. Just like so. And... Then we go back through the middle, through the middle here. Ugh. There we go. Through the middle. It's all going to come together in a second. Okay. There we go. So now we do want to kind of pull it snug, make sure everything's attached nicely and evenly, which it should be. I'm going to take my needle off, and each of these threads is on uh, either side of the, the thread. If you uh, need to, the, I'm going to turn this off too. YouTube does now have a zoom feature. If you are on your phone, you just use your pinch, pinching motion, where you, or whoop, and then, uh, if you're on a computer, then you just use your mouse for that. And I'm going to try to tie a knot. <laughs> and 
and any day now it's gonna work. Well, that's the wrong thread. Okay, I want it snug. And here we go. The last one, and then I can just kind of trim that off because that, these strings are gonna get glued down, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, I'm gonna throw that away. Okay, so this one is sewn on. I'm just gonna clip it together just so it's kind of not in my way as much because now I have to sew more of them on. I wanna sew this one to the back. I need to stack those together, even them out. I'm gonna put my clip on the side here and I'm gonna sew all three of these on now and I will be back all right so all three are sewn on and the center one I ended up doing the strings here it was just easier oh I got a little tear tear part a little bit easier with the needle that I had and I did skip the all step and I just use the needle to poke it through um I you know I just kind of struggle putting these on I just do <laughs> sometimes I think I don't know is it worth the struggle all right so you know that's a personal choice but for me I don't know I just feel like going back to the uh what works for me and that's other kind of journals <laughs> so I don't know, and maybe it's just because this is so small, I'm kind of making it more difficult for myself. But I kind of struggle with the big ones too. So I just have to make sure I don't. Now I need some really good glue. So this goes this way. I hope all my pages ended up in the right direction. Um, I tried really hard to do that, so I don't want to glue it upside down. <laughs> um, overall, I like how it's looking so that's good I don't know what I'm gonna do with the back yet but that's easy I'll just figure out some pretty paper to put on there so for this I'm kind of interested in making sure that this stays down and I do have a little idea uh, that I just thought of right now and I'm gonna take this scrap of paper and cut it into some skinnier strips. Let's see, so about this wide. I need a few of these. I got a lot of extra, extra strings I don't want. Let me get rid of those. Take that, that piece strings be gone. Oh, I could have crafted with that. <laughs> it's okay though. And I'll use this a little bit thicker piece. There we go. That should do it. And here's my idea. I'm going to slide this fabric. Oh, I only need two. Oh, silly me. Slide the fabric through here if I can I'm gonna, oh I got my I left my marker cap open all right and then I need something to shove this through or pull it right out either way so I'm just gonna do a little fold on it and put it in that way haha -ha. that will work A lot better. There we go. So then I have that piece. You can see it goes like this. And it kind of slides back and forth. So, and then I'm going to go... Oh, that's part of the... Mm -hmm. I'm going to try that again. It worked pretty good. Pretty good. I'll try using a longer tool. Whoa. Too much, too much. <laughs> now we're in the other direction. Whew. 
he did it. So now we've got both of these pieces. Well, that's good. And then when we glue this down, we're also going to glue those pieces of fabric down. And that will give us a little bit extra reinforcement for keeping that straight. And we want to make sure we're upside, right side up. <laughs> oh my goodness. I need like to put little post-it no arrows up, arrows <laughs> right on here and here. That's what I need to do. Okay, so now I'm going to do, what kind of glue am I going to use? Well, I'm going to use my art glitter glue on here. I'm going to be very generous. And then I'm going to squish it down. Just like so. I'll give it a little second. I love how fast this glue dries. This is one of those things where this is a circumstance where it's really handy that it dries fast. <laughs> Oozing out there, but it's staying on. Yay! Okay, we're just gonna push it down, give it another minute. There we go. Make sure all our pieces are staying where they're supposed to and then we've got these little pieces to glue down as well so if this glue on the bottom ever let go this would help keep it down again this thing lasts for a hundred years <laughs> okay Ooh, made a little crackly noise all right so now I'm just going to glue up these bits. I'm going to just try to put a little glue inside of there. There we go. A little inside. Oh yeah, that worked out. That was a lot of glue. Good. Good. I got a lot of glue in there. Okay. Position those out. Did I pull it through too much? Nope, we're still good. And it's position, repositionable. So that's perfect. Might as well put a little more in there just because we can. Oh, my art glitter glue came up. Man, I pushed the luck with that, didn't I? And your mark get set go <laughs> okay those are down these are down and now we hold and leave her alone i don't know why i do that why do i take this thing off it's the most bizarre habit that i have unless it pops off. I'm going to have to watch the video again because I'm like, why do I take that clip off? I have no idea. All right, so we're just going <laughs> to put it together and there we go. All right, I'm leaving it alone. I'm letting her go. Leaving it alone. Walking away. <laughs> Where's my... There we go. All right. Let's take that. Glue there. Now we've got our little scraps. Okay, so I'm I'm pretty pleased with how this is going. And I'm gonna I'm thinking to myself, oh, I'm gonna have to sew all those other ones too. And I'm thinking I don't want to. I may end up hinging these. Then I would have to use all different signature pieces. Oh, fine. I'll sew it in. <laughs> oh, fine. <laughs> but I'm not going to do it on camera. Not even close. Okay. <laughs> it did take me a super long time. Like, I went off camera just to, like, 
uh, sew those signatures in the other two and it took me like 15 minutes to do those two other signatures and when it, you're on camera time that makes a big difference <laughs> so I would just have to think it's craft time not camera time right yeah then it's not so bad if you're interested in uh, getting any of these like book pages I have a lot of book page bundle in my Etsy shop I do a piano rolls. You can buy like the tab piano rolls and those are like $15.99 and they're very nice. But you can also buy these rolls and there's like 10 feet of paper on here. So there's a lot. You get two of those rolls and it's only like $7.99 for both and, it's, and that's free shipping. So for like $8, you could get two two rolls of piano paper so that's a good deal and it it does they do make really nice pieces to go in signatures you can even glue them onto like book pages and then put them in signature like that so that's pretty cool all right well as always thanks for coming along and i'll talk to you later i didn't sew, i did i forgot to sew it to the <laughs> oh that went so well didn't it <laughs> and this is how we redo it